get my way. Oh my God! What is? <gasps> he made a chopped cheese. Really? I don't like tomatoes, though. Can he be redeemed? I'm so fucking hungry. I can eat anything right now except. Where's the cheese on this though? What is this? It's just a little. It's a little cheese. What up, folks? Hey, after seeing that, I know you guys want to know how to get down today. I'm getting ready to show you just how easy it is to make. Check it out. This is just a chopped cheese sandwich. Let's go. Not a whole lot of ingredients for this, and I know it's gonna be super simple, but I promise you it's fire. Now look, I don't have the traditional hero slash hoagie bun. This is what I was able to find. This is that French, you know, French bread, but check it out. Look, I don't know if you guys can see this. But Why are you gripping it like that? You can see, hey, this right here is like super soft. This bro, right here. this nigga in mayo is pissed. <laughs> okay, bro. Here's gonna be the way to go. Wait, 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 wait. this is craft? How you gonna, how you gonna? Look, this is that American slice. That crab, this is what you want right here. This is what it's gonna give it. We're trying to make it kind of like close to our authentic as we can. <laughs> you but got you gotta be using any kind of cheese that you like. But that's what I, that's my tool of choice today. Yo. I got the 80 20 beef. You know what I mean? And if you look over here, this nigga don't got, give a fuck. Of applause, cause look, I'm back down on the grill. So let's go. While I'm getting ready, let me explain this part about it. Like if you got oh my grill, god, he got a denim. Is that a denim apron? Oh my god, yo. Niggas is really different. This is great. I love, I just love it. I love people being in their element. This is still a crazy combo. I got it, everybody doesn't have a griddle, right? Hey, and I'm gonna be quiet because I don't know if the mic is picking up them little chimes in the back. It's lovely being outside. I can just tell you, just hearing the wind blow and all that. But anyway, I'm not finna over talking about that. Let's get this. So look, I'm using the griddle. Look, I got it set up. Right now, I warmed the whole thing up and cleaned it. You know what I mean? But I like to keep two zones. You want to keep a zone over here, which is like super low. And over here, I like to have medium. And if the uh, low gets too hot, because look, it's all metal, it's going to kind of like go this way. Now, if you're using a cast iron skillet, it's going to be all self-explanatory. We're just going to get down in the cast iron. You don't have no low. You know yo, what your low is when you use a cast iron? You take it out of the cast iron. You put whatever else going in next. That is so crazy, gang. So, listen, I usually season my meat when I'm getting ready to put something on there. I like to use that Creole kick or I use my own ap seasoning right but for this right here we're gonna keep it real i'm gonna make this in a couple days so i swear to god this no Why just though? like you see so your fingers don't smell so they can mix with hands cross contaminant how would you avoid cross contamination with meat by wearing the same gloves wouldn't you have to still wash the gloves like you would have to wash your hands change gloves is easier i just wash your hands right and then i look obviously you know this little dish that i'm using is big enough so anything that's excess you just want to work the meat you know around there like that so you just want to get it halfway mixed up i'm not squeezing and compacting it i'm just asking i didn't know if anybody actually did that just wash your hands it looked like i am but we want a nice juicy burger and i'm explaining to you guys what make this so 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 awesome right okay so look i got you know i got it all incorporated the way i would like like for it to be now look now we're gonna make a couple of patties right so i'm just gonna form them like this right it doesn't make really a difference how big you do them but you want them to be about the same size and not about i'm gonna be, i'm gonna speak exact you want them to be the same size so that way once we get them where we want them we want to put both of them on there and they cook and be ready at the same time if you <laughs> <laughs> if you got wait if you got cuts what uh, so now i'll just that's such a specific like reason push down like this you know what i mean i wish i had a burger press i actually have one it's just not here right but so i'll just do this let me just put this over here like that plus you have to touch the faucet 
And if you do that with your bare hands, you're further cross contaminated. Yo, y'all niggas are dirty. I'm sorry. Like, why is your faucet dirty? Not to say that you wait, 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 I'm lost. Okay, so I don't I just don't know how people prepare their shit then. Never mind. So you guys can see that's a I really do, I don't touch the faucet any more after the, than before when I first I just I make sure I have enough water for everything that I need to use liquid and everything like that and if I do touch double meats you just wash your hands nice bro. you have meat juice on your hands wash your hands burger right there now when you say chopped cheese I know you guys are looking like okay he's starting off with a patty this is for those who don't know what makes it so you know just like over the top listen if you did a smash burger how you gonna wash your hands without the faucet i don't fucking know use your elbow to lift it up so you the water will come out well, you gonna you gonna have your your hands full of dirty meat and then go say oh let me just full palm the faucet Ugh! now i gotta wa why would you do that i'm i'm lost what makes the smash burger cool this nigga said oh i got a dirty hand boom <laughs> Let's just fully palm it. It's when you when you smash it, you put that crust on there, right? We're going to get some of that crust on here, too. Then we're going to chop it up, and then we're going to have a whole lot of goodness, folks. So listen, I'm not going to over-talk it. Let's just get these patties <laughs> made. You know what I mean? And uh, we go from there. Y'all are crazy. Okay, so look, you can see where I made the patties, right? I'm going to let them just sit up just a little bit, let them exchange some of the, uh, some of the uh, ingredients that we, like, mix it with. You know, just set them right there. I'm going to go ahead and cover them because I am outside. Before I put them on, I'm going to set these over here now i'm gonna take <laughs> unhealthy niggas my onion. Make i'm gonna go ahead and dice this down because i'm gonna start my onions first right once i get my onions started then i'm gonna go ahead and put my meat on hey super simple folks okay so look let's just go ahead and start getting these to work now you you whatever man whatever you know what i mean whatever. so i'm gonna go ahead and just put them down you know then i'm gonna cut my tomatoes because look we just want to multitask so check it out. I want you guys to envision this. I don't care. I don't, care. I don't care. I don't care. You know what I mean? We hanging out around the pool. Most people are probably around this griddle right here. I don't care. You know what I, mean? and, uh, I don't care. Who gives you know, a fuck? We just start to get this go. So we just want to start to get care. this to, you know, break down. Hey, whatever I'm not works, take brother. These all the way down. Whatever I'm just works. Get them a little bit on the soft side. You know what I mean? I don't want them to turn completely black. Now, one thing I didn't have out, which I had in the refrigerator the whole time. Listen, chopped cheese. You got to put tomato on there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and slice these down right now. Let me just go ahead and uh, just start with a nice clean cut. Just a nice right. Who are you trusting more the fat? Wait, who are you trusting first, the fat nigga or the skinny nigga? I don't know whoever said least uh, health problems. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but I'm talking about like least contamination. I've never had food poisoning in my life. So, I mean, say that which, say that as you may or, or, or take that information, you know what I'm saying? Do what you want with it. When the cooking has been to me, I ain't never, it ain't never happened to me, gang. So, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Ripe tomato right here. You know what I mean? I wish I had my mandolin, you know? And then we just. We just saw a video of this nigga putting mayo on both sides and then saying, you know what? Onions and pickles and double cheese in it. But, I mean, if that's how you want to move, then go ahead, gang. There we go. I just want to get it nice and thin. Yeah, like that. I'm just gonna put about three slices on here. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start with a fresh one. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Look, let me just get this going and then we'll finish. Random, but I want to okay. thank you and Chet for putting me on the Cara Jackson album mm. last stream. Some of the best music I heard in a while. Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? Tuning in. We love when people discover new pieces of art. We're glad that you were able to walk away from the stream with a piece of music. You know what I mean? That's really the ultimate goal. Okay, so look, I want you guys to come here and look at these right here. Look, what I did was I was pushed them over there because I'm ready to, you know, get this going. Bro, stop telling me to let it go. I'm not even talking about shit no more. So look, I just let them brown up just a little bit. I keep them flat. You know, I dice them like this a little bit. Not dice them, I just push them down like that. I fuck I'm good with, this with that. Though. Right? The onions, now they got, go they and got put it. These burgers on. They right? got so it. So I just put one here. You can hear it right off the back. Look, I'm not. I don't even remember what bro is making. To press it and make it into a smash, we just oh. want to get a little bit of that. We just want to get a little bit of this crust on here, right? So we put this down here just like that. I like to leave it with a little bit of space. I mean, that's good. This was even better. Could have brought that over here, but we'll leave it like that. If you season it right, as soon as you put it on the griddle or your cast iron skillet, it's going to give you that aromatic that off of it, that aroma. Boom. That's what we getting right now, folks. Mm. I don't know what bro talking about, but I want to see it. Where the gloves go? Hey, it don't matter. Check it out. It don't Listen. matter. 
from my research, you know what I mean, in the chopped cheese, I don't see nobody really toasting the bun with mayo. But if you've been following me for a minute, and if you're not already, then you might do it from here. I'm gonna go ahead and do one my way, which means I'm gonna put a little mayo on the bread, just like you see right here, and we're gonna toast it with that. For you guys that have never done that, I promise you, do it. Man, I'd buy your groceries if you tell me you don't like this. This right here is killing butter. You're talking about for a better flavor, this is it right here. So obviously, this one right here is gonna be mine. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm, you know what? First, I'm gonna start it off this way. You know, nah, you know what? Let's just go ahead. My man indecisive as hell. Flip it over and do it that way, right? This is gonna be mine, right? And then this one here, I've already gotten this one over. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it like this. And what I'm gonna do is just toast it back just a little bit. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna toast it the other way. Now this will be more traditional, but this right here is the level up in the fire, folks. I want you to take a look at this right here. Hey, look, I haven't looked at done nothing. You know what I mean? So when I hit it like this, we're gonna look at the bottom of it, right? You see that right there? That's the flavor, folks. That's the secret to the smash burger. And that right there is the level up when you guys making these chopped cheese. So we just flip them over like that. Wait, what did he do? You just put them on there? Or did I miss an ingredient? You see that? I just want to get another little crust on the other side. Well, just start to form it. This one right here. Ah, look at that right there. Oh, he's saying before he chop it. Now, I think it's been a while. Let me just go ahead and get this one over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. <laughs> look at that there, folks. I see and this it. the one that we didn't toast with no mayo. Nice. Nice, people. Now, for myself, I'm going to go ahead and just take these onions. We're going to get these off because I don't want to go no further. That's really up to you guys how you want to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, you can take them all the way down. You can, you know, they can turn brown on you. If that's Yo, thick is on my dick. We just watched this nigga put double pickles and double onions and double cheese on the same burger or on the same bread that he put double mayo on. You talking about you not inviting me to the cookout. If you want to die prematurely, go the fuck ahead. I don't give a fuck. I will be lovely with the rest of my life, you no longer dick sucking me in the chat if you died of cholesterol because you decided to put everything in between two pieces of bread. Now, if that's the reality that you want for yourself, dying because uh, you, you don't have nothing, everything that you eat got too much fucking gluten in it, then that's you. That ain't going to be my reality. That's all I'm saying. Three things I'm not dying to, bro. Water, high cholesterol, and what was the third one? I forgot what the third one was, gang. I'm not going to lie. That's the way you like them, but right here, this is going to be nice. I want to have a little integrity, you know, with it also. Integrity? Then we go from there, folks. Hey, super simple, and watch how we work. Bro, I got to get something to eat, bro. I'm not going to lie. Fuck the McRib. A nigga. Why are you shouting? I'm not. This is my regular voice. I meant this is my inside voice. What y'all rather eating? What do you mean? Let me see what this poll, this bullshit poll. Let me see. This mayo calamity, a McRib. Why are you saying a McRib? Who talked about a McRib? What are you talking about? You are disrespectful. I could say a thousand things to you right now, and I'm chilling. I really am chilling. Get some Chipotle. Get some bitches, nigga. Oh, my bad. <clears throat> I door dashed Indian food while I'm braiding my hair. What type of Indian food? Put me on. Bro, I already ordered DoorDash earlier today. This is the fattest shit in the world. I'm not going to lie. You say the same three things. I'm also chilling. No. Uh, I haven't said nothing to you that I normally would say to somebody in my real life day to day. I haven't actually said nothing to nobody ever in any time that I've gone back and forth with the chat that I've said to people in my personal life. They get it so much worse man i wish i could say it but i can't i'm a chill though i'm a chill hold on hold on hold on hold on let me see indian food might be the go to cuisine i've never eaten indian food i'm gonna be honest no 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 some people you know you will you will you will get offended it is it's okay because you should be based off what i would say um, I, I'm not even going to go there. You know what I'm saying? That's not my bag. I don't live to do that to niggas. Damn. Uh, do I do this? Fuck. I 
Have I tried Nigerian food? No, but I tried Jamaican. Okay, so look, it's called. Wait, why are niggas saying? Sean saying slurs IRL. I wish. Petition to cook Sean like rotisserie chicken and eat him. Petition for you to do a face reveal because you talk crazy. You know what? You know what? I'm doing mandatory face reveals for 90% of the chat. Coming soon, bro. Oh, chopped cheese, right? Coming soon. You not you not showing face. You getting banned. That's just that's gonna be the future. I've never tried Popeye sweet <laughs> Popeye sweet wings yet. Nigga said, "Oh fuck no." Yep. See what I'm saying? I have a sneaky feeling TR is actually 13. On God, on God. I'm fin. <laughs> Nigga said I'm finished. Oh my God, do I get? No, I don't want to get that. That's crazy. I don't want to get that. I don't want to get that. I don't want to get that. I don't want to get that either. Wait, I thought they were closed. I'm definitely in my 20s, but okay, we wouldn't know. That's fed behavior. Wait, what do you mean? Stop putting words in Latinos and women. Wait, stop putting your hands on Latinos and women? When have I done that? I mean, women, yeah, I'm guilty, but Latinos? Sean, you exposed my face a couple months back. Not true. Never did that. Never did that. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just break this like this. We just break it open. Oh, uh, yeah. You see where it's not cooked? That's that's okay. Because, look, we're not going to cook it no whole long time, right? But by us doing this right here, right, you can just see how the flavor here, this right here is going to be fire. I see now, it. Now, I happen to have me one of these like this, right? So I'll just take this. And I don't want to break it all the way down. You know what I mean? Oh, and let me just say this. I reduce my heat down to super low. You know what I mean? Low as my griddle will go. But this right here is what we want. So you can see. What is this? Why are y'all saying the cooking stream? When did I agree to this? My bad. Sean, if you ever try Nigerian food, I highly recommend some shit I can't pronounce. Cool. We should do photo reveals of the chat. We should. You did months ago. When did I? No, I don't. No, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. No, this never happened. Don't know what you're talking about, bro. See that as I'm hitting it, you can see right there where it's not cooked. You know what I mean? But Watch as we hit do it. this, Watch listen, hit it. it just comes in. If that ain't getting your mouth watering, hey, somebody talk to me down in the comment section below. Something ain't right. You know what? I'm going to help you get some help. Cause this right here is fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I know help some you of the get people that help. don't do the beef, they gonna ask, can you do this with uh? I guess you would ask me, could you do this with uh? That'll be turkey. That'll be a little tricky. Cause look, look at all of that flavor that's in there. I'm now, seeing it. I'm gonna show you this part right here. This is it. We didn't already seasoned it nice. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's get it like this. I like to get it all that way. It's starting to cool down. I can see and tell by the by the sizzle, right? Look. We come here, and now we just start adding our cheese right here on the top. You know, just like you see. Craft though. Okay, so look. Now, we just take this and let the heat from the griddle and the heat, you know, from our meat. Look at that right there, folks. That's what you want, right? And then look, remember the onions? Ooh, my God. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. You know what I mean? Hey, no, me, no need me trying to look like I'm holding nothing back. This is the way I make mine. Y'all know I like them onions. I right? still, I still, right I still don't get why he wore the gloves. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my griddle off. You know what I mean? Cause that right there. Hey, listen. Just imagine that you came out and I was doing these chopped cheese like this. Now for you guys that do them Philly <laughs> cheese things, you know what I mean? Uh, why you be talking like that? These scenarios, like, oh shit, what would you do if I was there? Like. <laughs> Up moving crazy. I got it. This ain't the same thing. They really like night and day difference, but the I like the it taste, though. If you're gonna rate them, I'm gonna go ahead and just take your chopped cheese is just as good. Now I know the food police is gonna come and get me, but talk to me down in the comment section below. 
So look, this is the one that I had already toasted with butter. It's nice, buttery, super good, all of that. I don't think I've ever seen Sean not at his chair, LOL. For, from a first time chatter, that is fucking hilarious. I don't think you realize how ironic that is. Why do dumb niggas come here to expose dumbness? I don't get that. Right, so look, now we are gonna take it like this. Whew. Let me just get this back. You know what, just, oh I want my this God, to be right, folks. So look, you just take it and you go ahead and you put it in there just like that right there. Now you don't wanna fill it up too much cause we still gotta hit it with that, you know, with that uh, the tomato. It's just sitting in there too. And the lettuce, but if you see that right there, look at that right there. You can see the cheese is throughout, but look, I don't wanna keep talking and over talking it. You can see, look at that, the crust, everything is just right. I'm gonna go ahead and just sit it like this so you guys can see it and your mouths can get water. Now, see this one right here? Let me go ahead and hit it. This the one that didn't have no butter, you know, excuse me. I say butter, cause that's how it is. And I promise you guys, you gotta trust me on this one. If you don't do nothing, get yourself some bread out of the cabinet, turn your- Wait, so why'd you toast it if it didn't have any mayo on it? Skillet on and toast you a piece of bread. After that, you will come back and you'll holler at me and you'll be like, hey, thanks AB, you just exposed the game. Oh, okay. All right. Look at this right here, folks. If this don't do it, I don't know what. That's real. a lot of meat, man. Like it looked good. Look at that. Favor? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Went ahead and got your stir one going. Now look, if we gonna keep it true, we gotta put some of these. To hit it with a little bit of ketchup and mustard, and I'm gonna get down with that. Ketchup. But this one right here, this is it right here. Ketchup. So what you guys take a look let me know what you think down in the comment section below and then for those of you guys that are doing keto doing all of that protein you know what i mean so i can say it this way if you're doing keto you can just make these and this is just another way to eat it without the bread you know so just <laughs> put it together and makes for a great little salad hey but it'll be a meat salad hey with that being said look, look. <laughs> all right bro just trolling he trolling we. i'm a i might use some let maybe i'll use some lettuce i don't know who who, who really know oh my god they're already closed Man, uh, who's open right now? I'm hungry as fuck, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we only doing lives of pee for like an hour max and a half, maybe. I'm gonna make so much progress though. Chat, you ready? Cause I'm ready. I'm ready as fuck. BK open. Why do you keep saying Burger King?